Let's see, what do I feel like wearing today? Yes, this shirt is perfect! This color orange is sure to turn heads. Now onto the shoes. This is a toughie. Sneakers it is. Ooh, those things are really dirty, girl. Huh? How did I not notice how dirty these got? Ugh, my favorite shoes are ruined, aren't they? Or are they? I have a brilliant idea. Ooh, grab that toothpaste and toothbrush. Have a dirty pair of shoes you thought were ruined? Take a tube of toothpaste and put a handsome amount of it onto the dirty part of your shoe like this. Yep, now using your toothbrush, a separate one that you never use in your mouth, of course, scrub the toothpaste into the shoe. Really get in there. Once you're done scrubbing, wipe it all away with a damp cloth or wet wipe. Wow, these puppies look good as new! Alright, it's time to get going and in style, of course. When you lose yourself in conversation, you don't always see what's coming. That was close. Now you jump! With these little legs? Okay, I got this. Just gotta make sure I'm stretched. All right, puddle, let's do this. Yeah! Aww, so close. Great, now my feet are soaked. Why did I think my little legs could jump that far? Before you swear off shoes forever, here's how to fight wet shoes all together. Simply rub a candlestick on your canvas shoes. See the wax coming off? Once you've covered the whole shoe, take a blow dryer to it. This will seal up the wax. Let's give those guys a whirl! Now puddles are no match for your tennies. See? Dry as can be! Ta-da! When buying new shoes, we often forget we'll have to break them in. Oh, the backs of these heels are the worst! Just one more hour of this torture. Oh man, my feet don't deserve this. They feel so raw. All right, let's keep going. I hate these stupid shoes. Get these things off of me. Ugh, it's even worse than I thought. All because of these dumb things. Come on, stretch! Wait, on second thought… Ah, <sighs> I can feel the zen coming over me. Not for long, you won't. <gasps> that was close. Bella won't miss these socks, right? Time to stretch out these shoes. Start by putting on fluffy socks like these. And slide the shoes back on. Now blow dry the outside like this. And when you take the socks off, they'll have stretched out. I guess I'm glad I bought these after all. What a day! Ugh, saved by the bell. Finally, it's lunchtime. Whoops, dropped my pencil. Oh man, we have the exact same shoes? Seriously? I guess that's what happens when you both shop at the same mall, right? I don't want to be another clone. How can I stand out from the crowd? These kicks are getting a makeover. Check out this hack to make a boring pair of white tennis shoes into a work of art. Take some tape and cover up the parts of the shoe that can't get any paint on them. Be careful with this part, any bleeding color can ruin the whole look of the shoe. There you go. Now it's time to put on protective gear. Breathing in dangerous paint fumes is no joke, people. Okay, I'm ready. Fill up a tub of water big enough for your shoe to fit into it. Now pick your favorite color spray paint and spray it into the water like so. Make sure to layer the colors just like this. 
Okay, now it's time to get dippin'. It's important to do this part slowly, so that the colors in the water don't mix together too much. Steady… Whoa, check out that awesome color pattern! You just can't get something like that with a regular brush and paint. Once the shoe is completely dry, go ahead and remove all the tape you put on before. Don't forget the bottom! Boom, baby! Dang, girl! Look at those rockin' kicks! Wow, where did you get those? Oh, these old things? I've had them forever. Wardrobe issues don't just happen to clothing. It can happen to footwear, too. Oh, these things never stay tied! I'd better tie it tight so I don't trip. And done. That oughta do it. <sighs> Are you kidding me? Now this one's untied? The drama never ends. But perhaps the solution is right under your nose. Whoa. Where'd you get laces like that? I could use some cause mine keep coming undone. Don't you know the special trick? Loop the lace around itself like this. Keep going until it's wrapped all the way. Then take the end and pull it through. Keep pulling until it's tight. Now it's coiled, see? Then repeat the same exact thing on the other side. Don't forget to pull it all the way through. This one's a bit trickier. There. Now both laces are nice and coiled. Bring them both together and stick one end into the other's coils. Now do the same with the other end. Make sure to pull it all the way through. There it is! Now pull both ends and push the coils towards the middle. Pull them nice and tight. Pretty cool, right? I'm never gonna trip on these things again! But can I still take them off? Well, that was easy. What? The exam moved to 12? Oh man, I'm gonna be so late! Better grab your stuff and go, Sophia. Kinda need these. Cute shoes, but are you sure you can run to class in those? Almost there! Almost there! Sophia, your shoe! Huh? Hey, Cinderella, is this yours? Oh, yeah. Must have lost it on my way down. Oh, thanks a bunch! If you have heels that keep slipping off, try fashioning an attached ankle bracelet. Put a dab of hot glue on the edge of the ribbon and fold it closed around the bracelet. Perfect. Now add some hot glue to the back of your heeled shoe, like so. Stick that same ribbon onto the shoe. See? Now you can be sure your heels will never slip off again. Not only is this hack practical, but it's super cute! Before a hot date, Kevin makes sure he looks flawless. And I'm doing great on time! I sure hope she likes these flowers! Just gotta put on my shoes and I'll go. Oh, these look all worn out. I only have ten minutes! Lily! Can I snag that iron for a sec? Okay. Let's do it. Before anything, take the laces out. Then stuff some fabric into the toe. Put a strip of fabric over where you'll iron. And spray it with water. Then slowly press the iron over the shoe. After a minute or so, it should be ready. Can you see the difference? Those kicks are fresh to death, Kev. 
Who knew such a simple finishing touch could make such a difference? Impressive. I'd better get going. And I'd better run! Kevin said he'd be here by nine. Sorry I'm late. These flowers sure make up for it. Very smooth.